Hey parents, welcome to my five minute fix video series. I'm Penny Williams. I am a parenting ADHD coach and trainer and I have the website parentingadhdandautism.com. And today our five minute fix is going to be a five minute discussion about ADHD medication, that kind of thorn in the side of all of the parents with kids with ADHD. And I'm just gonna talk about a few issues that I see come up a lot for parents and kind of address those because I think there are really big gaps in what our clinicians and physicians are telling us when they're giving us these prescriptions. And there's a lot of things that I've learned over the years that I think are going to help you. Number one is that you have to manage that fear of ADHD medication for yourself. You have to learn all you can about this medication and get comfortable with that consideration. So much of what is out there in public knowledge is myth. It is not based on facts. And so we are super afraid of stimulant medication for our kids, but the level of fear that we have is really based on a lot lot of misnomers and a lot of unfactual information. So I want you to really look into it. Read from reputable sources about ADHD medication and what it can do for your child. It you know, make the choice for your child, for their success and happiness, for them to have the opportunity to be successful. Um, secondly, let's talk about when you start medicine. The best care practice is to start at the very lowest dose offered of that medication and you increase only if and only when necessary and when you have good coverage with the fewest side effects that's the sweet spot and that's where you stop titrating i see so many especially pediatricians and general practitioners which you don't know what you don't know. They don't know enough about ADHD medications because it's not their day-to-day -day practice. They don't have that level of experience there that an ADHD specialist does. So often they are trying to dose based on weight or age. You can't do that. They try to dose um, guessing that a child is older, so they should start at, you know, the 20 milligrams instead of the five milligrams. Um, you know, all of these things are not an accurate way to dose ADHD medication. And so I want you to be very careful. If you are working with a physician or a clinician on ADHD medication for your child, on stimulant medication, and they are not starting at the very lowest dose, and they are not waiting to see what that experience is, and then making a decision to increase or not increase, you probably need to look for another clinician who is more experienced and is going to really go through um, this best care practice with you and your child on medication. Now, one thing I learned from our prescriber when my son was first given his very first stimulant medication was that sometimes ADHD stimulant medication can make behavior behavior worse rather than better when it's too low of a dose. I know that is not common sense and that's why I always talk about this specific aspect because we need to recognize if your child starts with Ritalin, Concerta, Vyvanse, Adderall, whatever it is, very lowest dose and their behavior is actually worse rather than better, your intuition is going to say, I need to stop this medication. But with these medicines, it's actually common that you could increase the dose a little and have the sweet spot. Find that sweet spot, the right medication, the right dosage. Sometimes too little makes things worse. And I know that's not common sense, so I want you to really remember that. Now, the last thing that I want to point out to you in this five minute fix is that there are two types of stimulant medications. Our doctors are not giving us this level of education about stimulants. There are two types, methylphenidates 
and amphetamines. Methylphenidates are your Ritalin, Concerta, um, Quilavant, um, amphetamines, Avicio, Vyvanse, Adderall. Um, you also have dextroamphetamine. These medications are different types of stimulants. And most people with ADHD do well on one type or the other type, but not both. That means if you're trying a methylphenidate, maybe you've tried two methylphenidates and it is not going well, your next step should probably be to try an amphetamine because your child might be the one that does great with amphetamines and does really poorly on methylphenidates or vice versa. For us, for my son, it's the complete opposite. He cannot take amphetamines. He gets angry and raging and he's naturally just the sweetest loving kid but um, methylphenidates work really well for him so that's my five minute fix for today on ADHD stimulant medication and I will see you in the next video